All right. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mortal Shell. So, today we're back at the beginning of this area because I have decided to go back and um, do some exploring in the uh, in Falgrim, I guess. Um, some paths that we that we haven't really checked out that much and I also want to go back to um, to Sesta where the um, where the other shells are um, because I have realized that we have we have all of the four shells now but we only have three weapons and um, I'm thinking that maybe because we we picked up um, Solomon there, um, and uh, I feel like I may have missed the weapon that was there. It's kind of confusing how the how the respawning of enemies work. Why are there no no enemies there? Now there's enemies. But... <clears throat> and oh, a large bolt. kind of thinking that there there's also one path like really close to the very start of the game that uh, that I only went into once I think on the f on the first or second episode and uh, I didn't really go back there and check it out more so I want to go there but first I think we need to head to where we fought Grisha and, uh, and go from there. I'm just gonna run through this area. Now. So go going back in here, this is the boss room where we had uh, where we had Grisha. And uh down there we found one of the shells. And now is it... Is it there? Or well, this way that we're supposed to take now? I think it's this way. Yeah, yeah, I think it's the door over there actually. Oh. Dang it. I think it's in here. Sister. I never actually looked up here. What was that? How did I not look up here? That's so weird. Sense instinct. That looks like a weapon. Workbench? And this is... Oh, this is where I can... Okay, now I can pick up the weapon here too. Also, this is like the hub. So here's the the normal sword. I'm, I'm still not entirely sure what weapon I want to use. This looks like a... Like a big ass sword. Okay. We have 
here. Remnant of tar. There's a bell there. The hell? Are you a friend? I can't lock on to him, so I'm guessing he's a friend. Oh, there's a kitty! Hello, kitty! <laughs> oh, ye. You're a good boy, aren't you? Vlas. Okay, Vlas. Specimen. Rather dashing in that curious attire. And what of on the inside? You must be a gentleman. Certainly not one of those boorish fanatics. Welcome then. I'll warp some tea. In the meantime, why not take a look at my wares? Oh. Surely there's something you'll fancy amongst my collection. Oh, okay. So he's got a... Got a, some large bolts. To quenching acid. I need those for leveling up the weapons. Effigy of Haros. A vassal's figure appears noble in his pursuit. Tools, a cure. We're very familiar with this item for some reason. A curious set of tools beneath the rusted domes of uh, Mar Maradon, so called scholars group blindly at inherited mechanisms and instruments. Such tools often find new purposes, even in Fulgrim. Could those. Could those be the things that we unlock the chests with? And boiled frogs. Ooh. He has an infinite amount of, uh, of roasted rats. That's... Uh, that's really nice. But we, we certainly want to buy the quenching acid and the, the tools from him. We have a... We have a bell used uh, in Vespa, Vespa hymns and rich Vesper hymns and rituals. Rang once a year to celebrate the revered. That's the one that we have. We have one gold bell. Okay, that's cool. We, we need some tar. We do have some items that we can use for tar. And just... Oh, they give it 80. Oh, well, let's just use those up then. Congealed tar. Uh, yeah, that one. 150. A slurry of tar. 500 A bag of tar 300 A baguette I, di I didn't even know that I picked up a baguette But I'm, I'm guessing that that's too um, Food Tainted nectar unfit for consumption So Tainted nectar Let's use it to see what it does. This foul slurry will r rend you from your shell. Oh. Oh, okay. 
not not really sure why I would ever want to use that, but Welcome back, my splendid friend. Shall we engage in some rousing commerce? Surely there's something you'll fancy amongst my collection. Yeah, let's buy one of those. Quenching acid. Can we boink this? No. Have a, we do have a bell. I'm not really sure if that's gonna do anything ringing that there. But it's another locked chest. Hmm. Oh yeah, let's go in here and check. Tattered vestments. A sacred cloth bound to a forgotten sword. What the hell is going on here? Is that a huge bird that that is trapped? I remove the seal. Let's see what happens. Tarnished sealed. Ah, that's better. Thank you. It's been so long since anyone raised a hand toward me in kindness. You seem different. Untouched by false truths. Unfortunately, I have little to offer you. Save for that tarnished seal in your hands. A small gift. But I expect you will find it useful. Would you grant me another favor? Deep within the temples of the devout, you'll find the sacred glands of the revered. Bring the glands back to me, so I can extract the true nectar. Just enough to heal me. Perhaps you too can use it to free yourself from this wretched land. Before you end up like me. Okay. So those, uh, okay. Oh. The old prisoner has gifted you the tarnished, tarnished seal. It enables you to parry enemy strikes, interrupting their attacks. The seal will also warn you of incoming unparryable at strikes. Okay. Oh, okay. So... Oh, well, okay. Cool, cool, cool. I thought I had missed something with the parrying because we I know that there that uh, it has said like parrying in like the the talents or whatever you call them. Um but I've I've never found the button. Uh seal infusion. The old prisoner has infused the seal giving you your parry the ability to leave an enemy vulnerable to an empowered repost. The seal requires great resolve to harness such infusion. Performing an empowered repost will heal you. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> that... That alone makes me second guess the, the choice of, uh, of shell that I have. Because this is the one with, with the least amount of resolve. And having more resolve would certainly be a whole lot better. If, uh, if we can do that. Maybe I should... <clears throat> Either go back to... Aros or Solomon. 
So he has he has five and everything. And Solomon has a shit ton of resolve. A little less stamina but more durability. Yeah, I, th I think I would. I think I'm gonna switch to to Solomon then. It fe feels like he's gonna gonna serve me better with the with the resolve actually being important to me now. Oh, that's okay. That's the parry. That's a really looks like a really quick one. That's good. It's just, do we, do I want to stay with this weapon or do I want to like switch to the, this one maybe? This one seems like a very good like middle ground. I feel like I, I mean, I like the, I like both a lot to be honest. It's just, I would like to upgrade of course. Uh, oh, though that. Do what? Repair ballista, ballista suka. With the right tools, you should be able to repair this. So with the tools that I can buy from him, I can... I can have a ballista suka. What, what does it say about the sword? Okay, it has the same thing. And this one already has the have the um, uh, weapon enhancement with the the spike thingy. Hmm. Because I feel like the um, the smoldering maze is of course really really nice because of the reach. The not nice thing about it is that it's uh, kind of slow. The uh, hammer and sickle thing uh, is very quick, but uh, kind of more of a one-on-one -on -one type of weapon, I feel like. This one seems even bigger than the smoldering mace. I think I'm gonna go back to the sword for a while and just get a, a bit of a feeling for it. Maybe I should... <clears throat> I'm not sure if I want to upgrade it. Maybe I should. Now let's just do it. Like, I have no idea if, um, if I'm gonna be able to, like, level up all of the weapons, or may maybe I have already screwed myself from having a having a fully uh, upgraded one because I, I did well I've done one on each now we'll we'll, we'll just see sip this and you'll see yeah That's, uh... Killing an enemy with an empowered repulse has a chance to restore to restore all resolve. Well, we we need more. Well, we need more tar and more glimpses. Um. Okay. 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 So. And we went down I'm pretty sure that that's where we went down before Do we wanna Do 
just gotta get a feel of uh, of this weapon again. It is nice that it, it's uh, it's so it's much quicker. It, it definitely is a uh, is a good middle ground. to parry. Oh. Okay. Oh. I don't think I got it fully there. Interesting. Okay, so this is the this is the very start of the game. Yeah, and go up here and get the the mushroom. Y'all, okay. So I want to go down here and to the right. I gotta get a try to get a feeling for the parry timer. Okay, yeah. So we went... No way, we did explore this, didn't we? I can't remember now. And the enemies are not here, for some reason. seal it. Uh, a token which begets a connection to the spiritual spirit realm okay is not with me. Do we risk it? We risk it for the biscuit? We get a bit of health back when we do that, so, I mean...
risking it is uh, is sometimes worth it. No. Come up here, buddy. gladly eat that well cap. The, the seal warning me that, uh, that they're doing attacks that I can't parry. That's interesting. It's really nice that it warns me so early. Interesting. Abandoned chamber. Okay. I think I think we're gonna check that out when, when I've, I've uh, looked around a little bit more here. Just so that I don't get sidetracked again. And, uh, and, and we lose. Well, I lose sight of where we are. Th this should be fairly easy to find our way back to. Um, but we're gonna continue looking through that area next time because uh, that's uh, it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.